How easy is it to get up in the morning when you know you're not doing all that it takes? It's not very easy at all. You can just lay there awake thinking, oh, what's a few more minutes in bed? It won't matter much anyway. Wrong. It does matter. It will matter. Now, how easy is it to get up in the morning when you're pouring it on, doing the best you can, anxious to get going, make progress toward your dreams? It's a whole different story. When you're resting to renew your reserves, it's much different than resting to avoid your day. When you're psyched up and excited for your life, when you're excited for what you've planned to accomplish for the day, it's amazing you'll wake up before the alarm clock even tries to startle you awake. Your successes fuel your ambition. Your successes give you extra energy. Your successes pave the way for more successes. It's the snowball effect. With one success, you're excited to meet another, and another, and another. And pretty soon, the disciplines that were so difficult in the beginning, the disciplines that got you going, are now part of your philosophy. How do you know when you're successful? Do you have to be a millionaire? No. All we ask of you is that you earn all you possibly can. If you earn 10,000 a year and that's the best you can do, that's enough. God and everything else will see to it that you're okay. The key is to just do the best you can. If it's 10,000 a year, wonderful. If it's 100,000 a year, wonderful. If it's a million a year, wonderful. It doesn't matter 10,000 a year or a million a year. It doesn't matter as long as you've done the best you possibly can. Earn the most you possibly can. Be the most you possibly can. And here's why. The essence of life is growth. The essence of life is growth to do the best you can. And here's what's interesting. Humans are the only life form that will do less than they possibly can. Humans are the only life form that will settle for less. Every other life form except human beings strive to its maximum capacity. How tall will a tree grow? Approximately. As tall as it possibly can. You never heard of a tree growing half as high as it could. No, trees don't grow half. Trees send their roots down as deep as possible, stretch their limbs up as high as possible, produce every leaf possible and every fruit possible. As a matter of fact, you never heard of a human physically growing half. We keep growing until we're done. Now that's a part of life we can't control. It's genetically coded. And that's probably why we keep growing till we're done because we can't control that part. It's the rest of our growing that we control. The growing of our minds, the expansion of our minds, that we can control. And that's what tends to get away from us. All life forms inherently strive to their max except human beings. Now why wouldn't human beings strive to their maximum possibility? Here's why. Because we've been given the dignity of choice. It makes us different than alligators and trees and birds. The dignity of choice makes us different than all other life forms. And here's the choice. To become part of what we could be, enough to get by, or to become all that we can be. My best advice for you is to choose the all. Earn all you can, make all the friends you can, read as many books as you can, develop as many skills as you can, see as much as possible, do as much as possible, make as much fortune as possible, give as much of it away as possible. The max, there's no life like it. I'm telling you, once I got on track, I've never looked back. Pick up the challenge, go for it. Take the best of the two easies. Take the route of it's easy to get ahead. It's easy to do all you can. It's easy to succeed. It's easy to have financial freedom. The more you do, the more you get. 
So the two primary benefits of positive reinforcement are, number one, to build good habits, and number two, to create more energy to fuel your ambitions, your desires, your achievements. How can you isolate what's working for you and what isn't? How can you make sure that you are reinforcing your positive disciplines? Well, if it isn't apparent, easy to see right away. If what you're doing is happening in such small increments that you're not sure if you're on track, then you need to be writing it down. You need to keep a journal anyway. But if you really aren't sure that what you're doing is making measurable progress, you need to keep a written record. You need to write down everything that may be relevant in your day. What you did, who you saw, what you felt, how it may or may not affect you now and in the future. The best way to track your activities of the day is to write them down. The best way to track your activities of the week is to write them down. The best way to analyze your progress through the year is to have written it down. Why? So you can look back on it. Because by keeping a written record of your life, you will be more accountable. By putting into writing the action steps that you have planned, you will easily see what works and what doesn't. Most people just try to get through the day. Never writing anything down, never keeping track of their progress along the way, never really knowing if they are doing all they can to reach their goals, to drive their ambition. But gifted people learn to get from the day. They don't let a day end without picking up some valuable experience, some emotional content, some idea that may positively affect their future. To get the most from a day, to learn the most from a day, you need to be able to reflect on the day. And how can you reflect on a day unless you record it in history? Now here's the best challenge of all. Let's go do it. Not always saying you go do it, you go do it, you change, you change, you go do it. Here's the best challenge. Let's go do it. Let's get healthy. Let's change the world. Let's build an enterprise. Let's work on this together. See, I always respond to this. Let's. Sometimes it's hard to lift yourself out. It's hard to be self-inspired at first. And if somebody says, come on, let's start a new program. Come on, let's do exercises. Come on, let's get healthy. Come on, let's start something. I'll be there, you be there, you bring a guest and I'll bring a guest. Let's start something. That is so inspiring to have somebody say, let's, let's do it. Not always you do, let's do it. Let's build a team. Let's win the championship. Let's walk off with the trophy. Let's. Wow, there's something about that that can keep you awake nights. There's something about that that turns on the juices. There's something about that that reaches deep in the soul. For a person that can do extraordinary things when somebody says, let's, let's. I've got two with me already. If you'll be the next one, we can conquer the world. You say, whoa. Together, nobody's a match for us. By yourself, you're vulnerable. With us, nobody's a match. You say, wow, I want to belong to that team. So figure out ways to say let's. If you've got some differences with other leaders within the Herbalife Company, I would ask you to settle those differences. In, 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 in the interest of future, in the interest of doing the billions we want to do. Because when top leaders don't work together, I'm telling you, it is incredibly costly to the whole company. When it's costly to the whole company, it's costly to each individual organization. But if we work together, all of that can be taken care of. Even if you've got some differences, find something you have in common and see if you can't work together while then you work on settling those differences. I'm asking all of you to follow that example and do the same thing. Not only work together with someone else, but get other people to work together, and then we can finish the job Mark gave us to do all those years ago. Had the president's team not responded a few years ago to Mark's call and worked together on covering the world, Someone from Africa going to Europe, someone from Europe coming to America, someone from America going to Japan. 
Not working together is so costly. Not settling these little differences is so costly. I don't want these billions to be missing in the future. I want every billion. I'm jealous about every billion in sales because of what it represents. So let's get it done and let's work together. Let me leave you now with this message. Three important words I want you to consider. First is compassion. Mark's compassion to help people was unprecedented. He demonstrated it every day. He truly wanted to reach everybody. And if it would have been at all possible for him to have reached everybody in person, he would have done that. He would have walked the streets. He would have covered the world and touched everybody individually if he possibly could have. But he couldn't touch everybody individually by himself. He touched as many as he could, signed as many autographs as he could, took as many pictures as he possibly could, flew as many miles as he could, did as many meetings as he possibly could, did as much training as he possibly could. Nobody did it better. And the reason... And the reason is because he had this driving compassion that if he could reach somebody with the products, they would not suffer what he had seen other people suffer without the Herbalife products. It was his compassion that caused him to reach out and touch the people and help them to get started even though they had not much to start with. That was compassion. I'm asking you to find it within yourself, a new 21st century compassion for yourself so that you will be driven to reach the people. You will be driven to talk to the next person. You will be driven to help somebody change their life best you can. The next word I would ask you to consider is commitment. If all of us will commit to the dream, if we will commit to the opportunity, if we will commit to the chance to be the best in influencing our industry, the best in network marketing around the world, a commitment of developing leadership second to none, of putting together a team that can finish the job over the next few years, committed to the next 20 years. If all of us will make that personal commitment, I'm telling you the collective commitment will be unbeatable as we go now country after country with the 49, 50 we've already got, using all of that information, all of that experience, getting to the rest of the countries of the world with commitment, we can do that. The collective commitment will be awesome. Our total collective commitment can solve any problem, develop any product, go any place, reach any community, and touch anybody that needs to be touched with the Herbalife opportunity. There's nothing more powerful than collective commitment. I promise you mine. And if you will promise yours to me, and I promise mine to you, and we promise ours to Herbal Life, and we promise that we will work together with each other, that commitment will help us finish the job.